Hallelujah. And that somebody is going to wash away everything that you have ever felt that's negative. Yeah. Lord, help me today. Yeah. That somebody that wants to meet you wants to build up your self-esteem. I love the tearing it down. That somebody that wants to meet you is going to love you in spite of I feel like preaching. But when your life is in shambles, sometimes what we need to do is change what we're doing. We have to change our way of thinking. We want the blessings of God. But we don't want to do what it takes in order to be blessed. Hallelujah. Right, right. But to say, we want to be B-L-E-S-S-E-D. We want to be blessed. We want his blessings. But if you want to be blessed, I ain't even going to sing that song, pay your tithes and offerings. But oh, if you want to be blessed. My God, Pastor. You got to do what God would have you to do. The Bible is a road map. And Jesus, the main one in that Bible, he is the way, the truth, and the life. Ooh, oh, I don't hear nobody talking to you. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But somebody will 
wants to meet you. Oh, I feel like preaching. Somebody wants to meet you. And wants to take all of your pain away. Wants to take everything that's been holding you back. Hallelujah. He wants to give you the strength to pick it up and lay aside every weight. And every sin that does so easily set you back. Ooh, glory to God. He said that you've been going through. He said you've been dealing with pain and hardship. Said that you've been weeping. But he said weeping may endure for a night. Oh, but joy is going to come in the morning.
y'all got to understand is that you don't just marry that man. You don't just marry that woman. But you marry the whole family. You marry everything that come along with it. You marry their past. You marry this and that. You marry their issues. You marry their jealousy. You marry their problems. But you marry everything. So there's something else that comes along with one thing. I don't hear nobody. So there's not just going to be one thing that you're going to have to deal with. Even if it's one person. Y'all ain't hear the wisdom there. Y'all better listen to me. But when something comes, he's bringing a lot of things with him. Somebody shout yes. Oh, Lord. And I want you to understand that joy had to come from somewhere. Somebody shout yes. Hallelujah. And I heard the old song say, when nothing else could help, when nothing else could help, when nothing else could help.
See, this is what all these jealous folks That's right, that's right. Oh, so because some of them have that understanding. Uh -huh. And see, sometimes experience uh -huh. makes people who they are. Because of what they have been through, because of what they experienced themselves, it makes them who they are. Oh, y'all ain't like this preaching all you today. So glory to God. We have learned that the idle mind, yes, it is. It's a good saying, good saying, is the devil workshop. We don't have some time, Sister Janessa, that we just sit around and don't have nothing to do but think. And what we do is messes us up. That's right. It makes us go back. It'll make us do some things that we know we shouldn't do. It'll make us act the way we shouldn't act because anger sets in, hatred sets in, all different types of things set in because we're just thinking. Y'all ain't catching this, are you? How long have I been preaching? I'm finna stop. But it steps in. Mm -hmm. And it makes a lot of things come. Yes, right. Just thinking. Uh -huh. Y'all know that? Y'all yeah. believe that? Have you experienced that? Yeah. Yes, sir. If you think long enough, you want to kill somebody. Oh. Right. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> if you think long enough, you'll mess around and cheat on your husband. If you think long enough, you'll marry the wrong person. If you think long enough, oh, glory to God. But when a man or woman has nothing else to do, a lot of times they get involved in mess. Lord, help me today. And look at us, saved folks. Somebody say sanctified folks. Y'all ain't all that holy. Because we have the same type of issues right here. We think long enough and it messes us up. We have issues because of our mind. you know that if you keep your mind on him, he'll do what? He'll do what? Perfect peace. Y'all ain't catching this issue. So what we got to learn how to do is we have to spend our time doing the right thing. Yes, yes. I'm almost done. I gotta teach. I gotta teach. I'm almost done. Now, I'm gonna close right here. I got a few more things I can say, but I'm gonna stop. Call, call Jesus. He showed up. <laughs> the Bible says that the kingdom of God suffered violence. And the violent take by force. By force. Yes, now it's going to come a point in time that we're going to have to get violent and do what God would have us to do. That's right, Pastor. Mm -hmm. We are not going to take no for an answer. Amen. And we have to start, Sister April, yes. by getting on our knees and praying. That's right. Oh, yes. That's where we got to start. Yes. We got to start by praying because if we got God on our side, mm -hmm. look at your neighbors that you can't lose yeah. with the stuff I use. Yes. If we got God on our side, oh, yes. greater is He that is in me than He that is in the world. If we got God on our side, yeah. if God be for me, He is more than the world against me. Glory to the Lamb of God. So we are going to have to learn to get violent and take back what the devil has took from us. Amen, amen. 
Now I'm going to leave you with this word and I'm going to stop. I can preach for another hour and a half. But look at the name and say, somebody, somebody wants to meet you. Wants to meet you. Hallelujah. Did y'all catch it? Amen. Did y'all catch that word? Yeah. Oh, somebody will be happy with that word. Now tell them again, somebody, somebody wants to meet you. Oh, yes, oh. Thank <laughs> you.
name of the daughters of my people. Now is the time for you to come. 